Namaste everyone. So here is another problem on kinematics. Two objects are left from some height, uh, that is 100 meters, simultaneously, which means at the same time, and we need to find the time taken by both to reach ground. The twist here is that the second object, for the second object, it strikes uh, a surface like this, and after striking this, whatever was the velocity of it uh, at the time of strike, which is vertical, the same velocity becomes horizontal. Fine. So technically, what have what is happening here is that its vertical component of velocity is becoming zero. So it will start. It will it will get reset at this particular point, and we need to find the total time taken uh, by this object B in the two phases. Okay. So first, let us find the time taken by the first object. Uh, so basically, what we need is a relation between uh, distance and uh, time initial velocity of course will be uh, uh, zero for both of them so for a as well as for b the initial velocity will be zero and uh, the relation which we will be using is s equals ut plus half uh, okay uh, half a t square right so u of course is zero so we can just uh, make this simplified in the form of s equals uh, half g t square so now let's let's take the case of the first uh, situation. Uh, we have yes a equals one by two g remains the same. We need the time for uh, this square. So let's substitute. So one by okay. Uh, so substituting this, what we get is the yes distance is hundred, which uh, it is moving in a single time, and this is equal to one by two into nine point eight one, and t a square so with this we'll be able to find ta so ta will be uh, 2 times 100 divided by 9.81 and square root of this so that calculates to 4.51 so 4.51 seconds Coming to the second uh, place we have to divide this motion into two parts that is sb1 uh, for the first one of 50 meters and SB2 again for another 50 meters and the time for these two we need to add them right? so TB1 and TB2 we need to add them so what happens in, uh, at this particular point is that the initial velocity of B uh, at, at the sec in the second state of its motion that is again equal to zero so um, Okay, so uh, yes, B one will be equal to one by two G uh, T B one, right? So this implies that uh, yes, B one is fifty equals one by two into nine point eight one times T B one, and that implies that T B one is going to be equal to uh, two times fifty divided by nine point eight one under root. So when we calculate this, we get 3.19 seconds. Uh, now in the second state as well, it's exactly the same as this. So similarly, you can just go ahead and write uh, TB2 also, I'm going to get the same. Okay, so the total time for B, so total time for B, let's say that is TB will be TB1 plus TB2 and that's going to be 3.19 into 2 so let's go ahead and multiply this for 2 and we get 6.39 6.39 seconds so that's it so you can see that the first object is taking a, a, a time of 4.51 seconds but uh, if the speed is reset in the middle exactly the time taken is 6.39 seconds so that's it for this video in the next one we'll take up another of the problems thank you